What's up, people of the internet? My name is Alticore, and welcome to a game called Prey. So, I'm jumping into this completely blind, and yeah, okay. I, I guess this is just character select at this point. M U. Okay. Yeah, I am excited. I don't know anything about this. I'm happy. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Okay. So we're about 15 years in the future from present day. That's that's awesome. Well, depending on the month, actually. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Specifics. Heh. <laughs> It's a retro alarm clock. Wait, is, re is retro the right word? Ooh. I'll just imagine I didn't say that. Incoming call. Uh, pre-order bonus, thank you. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. I sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, uh... Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Well, considering that your last name is you and my first, my last name is you, I can only uh, deduce that we are related. Put on your Transtar uniform. This is uh, a bit odd for everyday use, but uh, okay. So yeah, welcome to Prey. Um, Looking, looking, okay. First things first, this view is gorgeous. Oh, it's a nice big bridge. I want to go outside. Can I, can I, can I smash this? I can, I can, I can climb my desk, apparently. Okay. Uh, hands-on electronics. Excerpt from the preface to hands-on electronics by Antonia Somebody, so-called. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundal, uh, fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent... You need a good imagination and a pile of junk. That's some good words for some inspiration, I guess. This looks like a soldering tool. That's great. Morgan Yu. That's me. Transtar employee workstations often contain useful information, files, and utilities. That's awesome. Let's check my email. Congrats and welcome from Thomas Tucker to me. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. Today! But first, we have to... Ugh. But first, we have a series of training exercises we've run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear, your, clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. And that's all the Talos 1 Research Facility. Ooh, delivery. Hey... I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod? What the hell's a neuromod? Install the neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Alex. Which I can only assume you're also related to me. Ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with Mom and Dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're New York company stuff. But they, but they send their best. I think Mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. <laughs> That's funny. She said you better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm, su I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's Mom. Anyway... Everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. 
Alex. Okay. So. Great. That's awesome. What's this? I don't understand a single thing, but I'm amazed at it. Break the window. Break the window. Freaking physics. So. I'm going to go ahead and take a bunch of this junk out of my room and smash the window. Great. Let's explore the rest of this hellhole. The method.csi. Excerpt from Architects of the Neurological Revolution. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind. But it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me himself. Maybe? Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. What is the Neuromod? It sounds like, it sounds like some sort of implant. It goes in your brain. Oh, I took some alcohol. Ooh, why? Congratulations, Morgan, Alex. Complimentary wine. Fine with me. Heart of the walk. Oh my god, there's so many things to read in this freaking room. Oh my god. Excerpt from Chapter 5 of the Heart of the Walk by P. Sudo. Cooking with a well-seasoned walk can be a sublime, sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before. Now, imparting echoes of their rich f flavor to every new meal it is tasked to cook. Did not understand a single thing of that, but okay. I, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my windows. <laughs> the courier. Hey, it's me. And it's Alex. That's about it. Oh my god, I have such a big throwing power for us. Hey! Go long, towel boy! That's a uh, boy, okay. Um. Uh, so, uh, Russia, probably. The Great Wall of China. Kennedy Space Center. And Austin. Great! Useless things I really don't care about. This is a shoe. Oh my gosh! An account of Fermi's question, excerpt from a book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence by Dr. Robert James III. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar, interstellar, Stellar travel. If a civilization begun before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar, interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? Isn't that... Isn't that like a paradox or something? Uh, Fermi's paradox? Something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Well, I'm ready for work. Huh. Man. I mean... Okay. Morning, I Mr. Yu. Good morning, Patricia. Or I think that was your name. What you doing? Working on, uh, stuff? Looks good. <whistles> Completely blew my ears out, you bitch. Alright, let's get on with this game. Let's go get right to the elevator! Okay. So far, so good. I mean... 
right now I'm kind of getting uh, a new age of technology. First day on the job. Wait, where's the pilot? Oh, he's in the front. <laughs> Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. Is it? 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Great. What was that? That was a flash of light. Okay, well, let's enjoy the view. Have some leisure. Sit back and completely relax. Oh, that's such a gorgeous view. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yeah. Some big boats. Beautiful sun. Uh. Okay. I'm digging it. I like it. Huh. Okay. Wait. Where do we come from? So far, this is promising. So excited! Hey, to you. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Yeah, I don't want to run right into it. For sure. Wait, hold on. I have a question. Where's the pilot? Because the seats take up most of this thing. Unless it's somehow AI controlled I oh, okay I'll just take it as it is game stuff hello dr. you hello flying robot how are you flying I want to crouch you probably didn't see me there uh, I see you right there how could I miss you I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Okay. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. I mean, if it takes hours, you should be fine. You're a freaking robot. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Not even the freckle on me. <clears throat> Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. So basically, you kind of colonize the moon a little bit. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos-1. Right, I, I actually heard about that, which is awesome. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. You know you are, but you're a robot. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. What if I don't want to go to the testing area? All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> Strange. That's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. Got it. I'm gonna walk away now. Welcome, Morgan Yu. Oh, that's you interesting. 9am, appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Yeah, how do you know it's just me? Is there a scanner in this room or something? Or was it the the robot probably should have done it? Ah, whatever. Also, is this elevator going really fast? Morgan! Hey, buddy! Finally! Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. What do you mean? Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. So... Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through I the can process. Just, You're in good hands. Just, uh, you know... We'll right there in front of them, and they'd be okay with it. I promise. Oh, good! Mr. They're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen. 
Just be yourself. I'll see you after. <laughs> Just be yourself. I'm not myself, little boy. <laughs> okay. Should be easy. This simple little test, right? Hey, guys. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Cool. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but I mean, trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Sure thing. Ooh. There we go. Awesome. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. What are you saying, Doc? Is there something wrong with me? Uh, look at this place. Expect to be more clean. It's just dirty and broken. Or it might be... Never mind. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Thanks. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. I mean, I see the one thing that I can hide behind. Now, let me phrase that. Actually, let me ask you something. When you say hide, do you mean hide from your pupil vision, where you can easily move when you're static or moving? Or hide the from this camera? Starts the test. Mm -hmm, I got you there! I mean, it's, it's obvious. I can't... Okay, I guess I'd go even further down. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register? At all? No? Well, that's fine. Screw you! Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. We're doing marvelous. Oh, sure. He's really doing horrible. Don't tell him, but he's doing pretty horrible. Hey. Cool. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible without thinking. Just just go for it. So what you're saying is press just jump over the thing in the middle. I'm not an idiot, man, Dr. Bellamy. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I can hear you, jerk. I apologize. Rap, rap, rap. Morgan, we're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. I hate you. I really hate you, buddy, man. Dr. Bellamy. Okay. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Hope you choke on your cup of coffee. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Sure. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love, or try something new. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. I'll try something new, of course. I mean, you go somewhere Looks like familiar, it's going to get really boring Keep after a going. while. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? I mean, I don't know what will happen. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to die. Angry. No one has that right. What? That makes no sense. I mean, let's think. I would just say, hypothetically, if I was going to be sentenced to death, it would be robbing a large amount of banks and then shooting people. I'd, be, I'd say that's worth it. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Well, I mean, the other two don't make sense. 
A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. So what you're saying is, kill five people, or kill one person? I'm gonna switch tracks! You know, it's like... Next. Four... More innocent lives are upset. What do you get the idea? A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an in, in, uh, next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would, would stop the train. So what you're saying is, if the train hits the fat man, the train will hit him, and he goes flying, or it hits him, and then it goes... <laughs> you know, like some freaking Hancock stuff where he hits the train and just makes it all stop. Okay. Well, I have a question. It, 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 these people are standing, though. It's not tied down. And if I push him on the track, I'd be like, I'd just be killing him for no apparent reason. And it's like, I would have stopped this train. Hey, fat guy, come here. Yeah, no, 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 thank you. Almost done. A runaway tree is bearing down on five people tied to the track. Okay. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. So essentially, what about push the fat man? F fat man's not his option. So I sacrifice myself to f to save five people. I mean, yeah, that's obvious. The one I would wow. wait. I should have said if it's I'm definitely going to stop. Impressed. Oh, well done, well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. What was that? In a moment, I'm going what was that? to ask you what. Uh, it's my coffee. It's empty. That's not your coffee. What the? What? Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. Yeah. What about Morgan? He's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Ah, uh, 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 you can't do that to me, game. It's not Monday. We just. No, 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 no. That's not funny. We have been through this once before. We are not time leaping. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. If if this has all reset, and from what they're speaking, they did this. They did this. That's that's the real, that's the only explanation I can think of. There's the birds. There's some glitching in the background. What the hell? We We got to get back over that tower then. Um so everything is practi practically reset. Which, I, I don't know how long it's been like this, though. How long was I out? Danger leave now. From January. Who's January? I guess we'll find out soon enough. And I, I cannot... Oh. Neuromod application instructions. Warning! Neuromods should only be administrated by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subjects may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. So here's the steps. 1. Remove Neuromod from vacuum sealed, vacuum sealed container. Number 2. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. 3. Keep eye open. 
4, depress orange release trigger, and continue to hold Neuromod against I for 5 minutes. 5, dispose of used Neuromod in provided biohazard bag. Ugh. Disgusting. That's, that's utterly disgusting. So... Exit... Okay, no, I've already read that. Do I still have the wine? I don't have the wine. You jerks. Alright, well, I'm gonna s grab everything from my house. Or my apartment. And then we will mosey on out of here. Hey! Excuse me? Patricia? That's kind of weird, have it. Okay, a rectangle. Oh boy. Immediately getting some oh, Bioshock yes. vibes. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. So, it's been 24 hours or less than 24 hours because, oh my God. I'm so sorry, Patricia. Oh my God, I can just drag her corpse. Oh my God. All right. That's kind of, okay. Um, this wall was not here. This led to the helicopter. Helicopter, um, helipad, that's what I was talking about. Can I, can I, can I break down these doors? I need to get out of my apartment complex. Ha-ha! Oh my god. That's wicked! Look at that, it's... Oh my gosh, that's so cool! That's... Man! This got a whole ten times better! Oh my gosh. So, wait, hold on. So I'm being watched. Am I even Alex's brother? Questions, questions, questions. But you know what? Activity log. February 22nd, 2035. Wait, wasn't it 2032? What? Um, sleeping. Wakes up, turns off alarm, checks transcribe, on computer, various tasks, takes shower, puts on uniform, exit apartment. Oh, I didn't take a shower. Huh. Utilities. Audio events. Refer to test run program for timing of audio events. Note. Pigeon visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the rendered data. Wake up call. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You set the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. This is like that one movie that stars Jim Carrey. It starts with the T. I can't think of it. Something T something show. It's on the tip of my tongue. Whatever. But yeah, it's like his, his Jim Carrey's life was a lie in that movie. H how long has this been going on? What part of me is a lie? Oh my god. I could- I could- what? I could carry this whole thing? Dear god. I'm a strong dude. Alright. Um... Daily tests. From Sylvain Bellamy. To Evelyn McCarthy. 
If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put an extra effort to hit our milestones, and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Me? Oh, <clears throat> I have a question. What if I'm a clone of Morgan and I just don't know it? Or what if I'm Morgan? Actually, am I even Morgan? And did I, did I submit to this with my consent? Or was it pressed against me forcefully? Uh. Dr. Bellamy. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say, nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we extended the testing indefinitely. A note about this morning, from Alex Yu to Neuromod Division. All. I know this mor morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about, do about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Alex Yu. Yeah. You guys are not safe because whatever happened to Dr. Bellamy from the black creature, black sludge creature, it most likely just killed him like it did Patricia. Well, it killed Bellamy, Bellamy and then Patricia. Actually, depending on where they are, considering he was sent somewhere else, that means whatever that thing was, it just spread throughout the whole... Where are we, actually? It said station. So, maybe we're in a research station or something that's incredibly huge or incredibly small? I, I have no idea. My god. So many questions, so little answers. <laughs> uh. What? What's up with the creepy music? Oh, this thing. What is going on? What the hell was that? That's the thing that killed Dr. Bellamy. Probably killed Patricia. It's in the box. Huh. Hey. Oh, what's that? It ran away. What? Oh God, the creature's on the loose. Um... What? <gasps> That's neat and... Huh! So everything is little... Oh, hey buddy boy, what you doing? Oh gosh! Take it! Take my wrench in your face! Mimic tumor? Neck, neck, necro... Necropolicy? 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 Something required. What in the god's name am I going into? So... Everything is a literal lie. The hell? I'm... 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 I, I'm a loss for words right now. Gosh. <laughs> what was that? The. I was about to say hepatitis. Hep. Uh, hepacist. Hefty, hefty, twist, and loop handle wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transstar facilities. Good for liberal application of pers 
percussive maintenance and me mechanical agitation. Okay. So I could charge it. I got it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Stamina, boom, and then charge. That makes sense. All right. So soundstage rules, <laughs> just normal stuff. Oh my gosh. So, oh, that's pretty cool. 3D render of the building, the city. Well, too bad I don't get to see it anymore. So I'm wondering, where are we? What's that? What is that creature? I guess it's where they installed that Neuromod. Oh! What was that? So, essentially this whole station is full of those black creatures, black sludge creatures. Making this entire SKU as defective. Uh, okay. I didn't understand a single word of that. It's a safe! One, one, two, three, four. No? Okay, four, three, two, one. I'm all out of ideas. Is January, is January watching me from this? Oh. I don't know. There's probably a code around here, most likely. Oh boy, I gotta find a password and everything. That's absolutely fun. Something is messing with everything back there. The save code is... <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate it. Oh, it's the helicopter! The pilot! I mean, it's pretty cool how they did it, but still. Uh, this is the first game where I can actually break glass to make a shortcut. It's awesome. I'm happy about that. All right, well, I'm going to scourge this area, so. Hopefully there's something useful. Okay, there's nothing useful at all. Okay. Some Is that? What's that? Oh, it's, um, a room that could be trans- Oh! That's- Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Uh, I've been a little angry. Why can't I break this? Okay, can you quit? That's being really annoying. Why would they do this to me? Hmm. The method.csi. Oh, it's I've, I've already read this. Okay. Bunch of data I don't really care about. Click OK to reset the simulation. So yeah, this whole incident has occurred for about 24 hours or less or more. I'm taking that. What email? Okay, I've already seen that. Ooh. That's so cool. But how can you do that to a person? I mean, knowing that they don't know, it's like so morally wrong on so many levels. There he is! There is that little creature! What do you mean? What do you mean, be careful what you pick up? I don't understand what you're saying there. I don't- I don't know. Science operator? That was a science operator? Space parts. 
Dismantle required. What's... I need some skills or something? Okay, that's fine with me. Um, Morgan's behavior from Sylvain Bellamy to some I can't pronounce that. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the de at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, oh, pending a psyche evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we. Granted, granted Morgan had forgo forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests, in debriefings and within the test itself. Bellamy. So essentially, you sort of just ripped out my memory and some personality just to do this. Oh my gosh. So that does mean I'm Alex's brother. That means... I don't, I don't even know if I did this with consent. I don't, I don't know. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Yeah, that, that's what I heard when I was sedated. I'll tell you what it looks like. There's some dude in the middle with a mask. And there's some legs. There's a... Some sort of face. And there's just like two of them. Guarding the mask man. That's what I see. Our, wait, wait, what's this? I, I could just take crumpled paper? Why would I do that? Well, that's one way to begin a game, I guess. Considering that you've been tested on for who knows how long. I mean, it's been three years since the supposed simul simulation starts, so... I, I don't even know. Ugh. We'll learn eventually, and see how this has affected the, oh, the whole other section of the station. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you have a comment, a suggestion, or whatever, then please leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you want to check this game out yourself, a link to it will be down in the description. And well, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.